So at just 16, he's been loaded as the next big thing out of Anderlecht and a future star for Belgium. But just how good can he get? And is he worth the investment for your FM save? Only one way to find out? Come join us. Hello, and I'm Josh from FMFO, and I'm the face at FM Basis bringing wonder kids to this place. And today we're going to be looking after and developing a young Mario Strykins. Strykins. Strykins? Strykins? Mario. And we're going to be showing you just how good he can be. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you that it is indeed free to subscribe to FM Base, so please hit the link on your screen up by there and show some love to the channel. You won't regret it. So to give Mario the best chance of developing, we've moved him over to Sporting in Portugal, where we are going to be managing him personally, where we're going to be giving him additional focus in his training, but also playing him week in and week out to hopefully really maximize his potential over the next five years. At that point, we're going to be setting him free into the wonderful wild football world to see just how much better he can get and where he ends up in an additional five years making this a 10 season simulation. The number of the day is 10. So let's take a look and see what we are playing with here. So as we first take a look at Mario, it is important to remember he is only 16 at this stage in the game, so he's got a long time ahead of him and a lot of opportunity to develop. However, he does have some very good attributes off the bat. Technically, his dribbling, first touch, passing and technique are all at a very good standard, especially for that age. Whilst his vision, flair and bravery and his composure, again, are some very important attributes and starting at a very good level. And his physicals, his pace is at a 16. I'm not expecting his stamina or strength to be very high at 16 years of age, but again, his pace and acceleration are very promising. And with a balanced personality, I like to think that he's going to be quite receptive to the development and the opportunities that we're going to be giving him here. So off the bat, even as an inverted winger, I do think it's important that we look to develop his crossing. So if we go into the development tab now, we're going to be adding that in as an additional focus, certainly for this first season, and see how he looks. So next, let's take a look at the formation we're going to be using and where we're going to be playing Mario. So as always, we're using a tactic off the trusty FM base website, and we're using one with a name that I've not seen before, El Tucro, I'm happy. So we picked this formation mainly because it's a 4-2-3 one that suits all the players that are already at Sporting, but mainly because it allows us to play Mario Stroikins in this inverted winger position, which as we saw on the previous screen is his best position at present. Now there are other five star potential players at Sporting, mainly this guy. I believe his name's pronounced Gonzalo Inacio, but he is a five star potential central defender. However, he is not the reason we are here today, but we will be keeping an eye on him as we go through. So you get a two for one. So available at around 10 million at the start of this save, how much is he going to progress over the next five seasons? I've showed you the player, I've showed you the formation. It's build anticipation, let's start the simulation. Simulations. So we're back, we're five years into the future and as you can see I've changed, but what about Mario? Let's take a look. So first of all, let's take a gander at the league table and see how Sporting have performed using the trusty FM base website tactics. So as you can see, they've won this first season, scoring 134 goals, giving them a goal difference of 101, which is absolutely fantastic in just 34 games, remember? They won the second season, again scoring over 100 goals. They won the third season, yet again over 100 goals. They won the fourth season, once again, with over 100 goals, nearly 120 this time. And they have once again won the league five seasons on the bounce, this time with 122 goals again in just 18 games. 18 teams, 34 games. Sometimes recording's hard. And very quickly, during this time, they have won the Portuguese Cup in 22, 23, 26. The Super Cup, 22, 23, 25. The Portuguese League Cup in 23, 24. But no European trophies. But let's take a look at the man of the hour, the man with the power, Mario Stroikins. So first of all, if we just look at his career stats and see if he's performed, every season bar one, he has been over the seven ratings. He's scored in the double digits every season bar this one here, but his assists have also been pretty high. 
throughout every single season. And in total during his career, he's made 162 appearances, because three of those were at Anderlecht. But he scored 56 goals, 48 assists, 8 Man of the Match awards, and an average rating over five seasons of 7.10. So he's certainly played well. Let's have a look to see if he's picked up any individual awards. So if we take a look at his individual awards, uh, we're not going to count things like Team's Best eleven because... He's going to get that anyway because he's in the 11. Well, in 2023, his individual awards started to pick up. He was the next-gen runner-up and the European Golden Boy. But in 2024, he actually won the next-gen awards. 2025, he was actually the World Under-21 Footballer of the Year. And in 2026, he was named in the Belgium Seasonal Best 11. So he has picked up a number of individual awards here. Has he been limited by playing at Sporting in a smaller league with less exposure? Who's to say? We'll find out in a little bit. But first of all, let's compare how he is attributes-wise compared to when he started the game. So if we take a look here, there have been some notable improvements. Obviously, he started the game at 16. He is now 21 because 16 plus 5 is 21. But I mean, starting off in his technical attributes, there's just improvements all across the place. His corners has gone from an 8 to a 13. His crossing from a 10 to a 13. His dribbling has gone up to 15 from 13. His finishing has gone up 1. His first touch has gone up again, 13 to 15. And his technique has gone up from 14 to 16. So lots of positives in his technical attributes. If we take a look at his mentals, his anticipation has shot up from a 9 to a 14. But his decision making has gone from an 8 to a 13. And his vision 12 up to 14. So again, some good improvements on the mental attributes there over to the physicals his stamina is the biggest increase i think from a 7 up to a 12 and his strength from a 10 to a 14 and his balance which is very important for the winger has gone from a 9 up to a 13 so he, overall he has made some big improvements across all of his attributes there in just the first five years obviously starting at 16 a very raw talent but up to 21 now he still has i'd say another five to seven years before he reaches his peak so what i think we're going to do now instead of just simulating the five years let's simulate forward six years so he's going to reach the peak of his powers so we can see truly how good he is but over this next period he is not going to be under the expert tutelage of myself we're going to set him free into the wild so which team is he going to end up in which league is he going to end up in and just how much better is mario striking is going to get let's take a look so we're back in the year 2032. Diesel cars are no longer being manufactured, so everyone's buying electric. There are no hovercrafts just yet, and the government still have not sorted out the electric highway. Who would have thought it? But let's take a look. The reason that we're all here, Mario Stroikins. So if we take a look, Mario's career took quite a change after I stopped managing Sporting. In the first season I wasn't there, we all noticed. He only played eight games, scoring a goal, but only managing a 6.83. He was then dropped to the Sporting second team, but then promoted back up to the first team. So who knows what happened there. He played fairly well with average ratings in the high sixes for two seasons. And then his final season, 26 appearances, nine goals 7.08 rating that season was his last one at sporting what did that magic performance do for him that year let's take a gander drum roll and you can see for 20 million pound he ended up at money bags newcastle united where he has played two seasons now with 22 and 27 appearances four goals in each an average rating of 6.94 and 6.88, so not as good, but still not that bad. So let's take a gander at what Newcastle have done in these two seasons since Mario has been with them. So in his first season at Newcastle United, they finished in eighth position, three points off a European place and about 11 points away from the Champions League. So they've not done too well there, really. They've only scored 51 goals, but not a huge amount being scored there. And in the second season, they actually improved. They finished in seventh position, still not scoring a lot of goals, and quite a considerable distance off Liverpool in fourth place. And Manchester United have won the league. What is going on there? And if we take a look at the cup competitions, nothing really of note, so not a huge amount has changed for Newcastle United. But if I just pick a random game just to show the tactics that Newcastle United are playing, you can see they are employing a 4-3-3 and Stroikins is out on the left wing. And in this game, he actually had a 7.8 ranking and scored a goal. 
Well done, Mario. So if we take a look at his personal awards and milestones, in the 2026 season, which was the last one that we saw, a few months later, he did pick up the Portuguese Young Player of the Year award. In 2027, nothing really of note, the Belgium season or best 11. Nothing in 28, nothing in 29, and nothing really in 2030, apart from being purchased by Newcastle United. And if we take a look since his move to Newcastle, he has made the Belgium seasonal best 11 and Newcastle best 11 two years on the bounce, but he hasn't really won anything else of note. He seems to have petered out a little bit there. So whilst everything that we've looked at so far hasn't been too overwhelming, he has seemed quite steady and solid. Let's take a look at the attributes and see what improvements it's been. So we've already taken a look at the five-year comparison for when he's 16 to 21. Now let's take a look at when he is 27, six years in the future. So a total of 11 years progress we would have scoped out because five plus six is 11. So the first thing to note really that his potential ability is dropped. Now the potential ability can be reflective of not just his actual potential ability, but his potential ability in regards to the players in the team and around him, because this is a coach summary. But the big thing to note is that his star potentials has dropped. I think he was five originally, down to three and a half, and now he is only a three-star potential and three-star command ability. So the likelihood is this is about as good as he's going to get. Now, in regards to his attributes, there has been some changes, although nothing as extravagant as we saw from when he was 16 to 21. His corners and his crossing have both improved by one, just from 13 to 14. The holy trinity of dribbling, finishing, and first touch remain exactly the same as they were before. The only other real technical attribute of note his long shots have gone up by one but his passing has gone from a 15 to a 16. If we take a look at his mentals again not a lot has changed the biggest one though is his vision which has gone from a 14 to a 16 and then lastly if we take a look at his physicals there has been some changes his acceleration has gone up his agility has improved by two his balance and his fitness have improved but his pace has actually diminished it's gone down from a 17 to a 16 and I did take a look he has had a lot of slight injuries but only one real major injury which was about four years ago where he had a hip injury. Potentially, all that wear and tear of those slight little knocks could have impacted his pace and that drop in by one. But then at 27, this is pretty much him now at his peak beginning to diminish. So this is about as good as it's going to get for Mario. So there we have it. Mario Strykins, a 16-year-old available at the start of the game for around eight to 10 million pound with a lot of potential ability. However, in this save we have shown even playing him consistently and giving him a lot of consistent individual training, he sort of seems to peter out between that 30 to 40 million mark and just a solid winger. So depending what you're looking for in your save, he is probably someone you can make some money from and he does develop quite well. But I would say mid-table Premier League team is really the standard of where he reaches. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think. Have you used Mario in your own save or is this something that you would do differently that you think could bring even more out of him than we did today let us know in the comment section below as always i will endeavor to answer each and every single one of you so as always i hope you've enjoyed today's video if so please give us a like and subscribe to fm base and if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see in the future please drop them in the comment sections below so if you want to find me i am fmfo official on twitter and on twitch but remember this is the place it's fm base i'll see you next time